one size fits all instruction with and instructional resources. I, your average textbook assumes that a kid reads on grade level. But let me tell you, most kids don't read on grade level. And the ones that do are ahead of grade level, and they're bored. Personalized learning and flexible resources optimized for each student. Fixed places and times for learning within the school building. Again, that's 130 years, one room schoolhouse. Not, not a whole lot has changed. Anywhere, anytime learning, inside and outside of school, you, the governor and I visited a school a couple of weeks ago where the kids were Skyping with kids across the state reading poetry to each other. A bunch of fifth graders. It was incredible. Teacher-centered instruction with the teacher as the expert, teachers as disseminators of content. Again, that's why kids are bored because it hasn't changed since you were in school. This provides for student-centered instruction individualized learning, teachers are facilitators and coaches. So the teacher is no more or less valuable than in the prior model, but I would argue even more valuable because it frees them up to interact with the kids instead of standing at the front of the class. Printed static text, often out of date, is the dominant medium for educational resources. I've seen kids like on an iPad demonstrate their understanding of the circulatory system by tracing with their finger the, the blood flow throughout the body. That's much better than a multiple choice test. Which brings me to assessment. Um, my daughter, my, my eighth grader, pulled up her grade online the other day and saw that she didn't have the grade that she thought she had but there had not been a grade put in the computer since 429. She's got six assignments that have not been assessed yet. So she, it's the end of the year and she doesn't really know what her final grade is going to be, which is very frustrating 